what is good friends I am here with a more SPL I'm a bit late it's already turn 8 we can just rewatch we watch the first turns between Atticus and Genesis um, this should be Chronicles versus the Bigs, I think. So Laddy leads with Kelly of Fires of a Draco on the Assault vs. Torn. Atticus is pretty standard. Voltam with Manager is a cool team. It's the U-turn off on the Hippo. Genesis only has Laddy as a potential switch in, so if he goes for Icy Wind here, that would be huge. Okay, he just goes for a Fish for the Scorpion, which he doesn't get. Um, he can go Jirachi here. Okay, he just goes torn again. I feel like I would have gone Jirachi there. And he's just gonna knock off here, I assume. Oh, he just u turns again, okay. I mean, he's just gonna go back into Lahari, so this doesn't accomplish much. Okay, focus blast miss. That sucks. The Ferrothorn would have died. I don't know why he stayed in with the Ferrothorn, unless he was choppel, but he was leftovers. Yeah, I don't understand why he stayed in there. So Medicham just comes in. Does he have Protect? No, so he just sacks his Pharaoh. So, yeah, he's just willing. I mean, obviously he didn't have a switch into Medicham, but the turn before. Maybe he predicted him to go for Icy Wind the turn before. Not too sure about that. Zard Y wins a potential speed tab. But uh, most Medicham run elements, so it's probably just faster with the Zard. Blows that Medicham away, and it's probably Scarf Land, though, and he's gonna go for U turn here, make an aggressive play. Yeah, thought he would do that. There's no way he sacks the Zard. So Rodon comes in on the Hippo, he can go for Wisp or he can Volt Switch. I feel like Wisp is a fine play because uh, the Laddie gets whittled that way. And he has some switch-ins in Jirachi and Torn. Um, he misses a Wisp. This guy is getting hexed, Eric is like, there's the Drake on the Jirachi. Like he missed a Focus Blast and he missed a Will Wisp. So he's a deaf Jirachi. He can just get up Rocks here if he's Rocks here. And you can go Landris on this drill on the potential rabbit spin. It goes Rotom. So it's it's Sandra's drill, it's not Mold Breaker if I think if I if I not if I think. It's obviously that, yeah. That sent implement of sense, I'm a bit in a in a rush. I was about to, ready to go and then this game popped up. I mean it's it's all good. Like I have time, I have some minutes. So this is going on so fast between Laddy into Hippo. He U turn out again until this time he hits the Will Wisp. Um, I feel like he's gonna double Will Wisp here predicting the, the, predicting the Lati. Oh, he goes hard into Jirachi predicting the Lati. Why didn't he just Volt Switch then? That was weird. That was really weird. What? Nice U turn play. Atticus playing aggressive. I mean, U turn on the Lati was obvious, but I mean, the turn before he played aggressive. This is not a Volt Switch. Now he showed Volt Switch. I mean, what does he lose from Will O' Wisp being here? Drill does nothing to Rotom. Lari would get whittled. Oh, uh, Zard could come in. Zard could come in. So, yeah, I didn't think about that. So, Volt Switching there's a good play. You don't want a Zard coming in. Yeah, this is looking good. Like, Atticus is making the aggressive plays now, but the Hex at the beginning. Hmm. Like, that cost him his Kaldio. Genesis didn't have much for Kaldio. Like, he just need a bit prior damage on Zard, and then he can kill it with Hydro Pump. Uh, Hydro Pump might even... I don't think it occurs, but it should do a lot to Zard. Yeah, I just uploaded the Finchy that was poor game. I was chilling, like the schedule says there were no other games today for SPL, and then I just checked Smoke Drills. Because I was curious, because sometimes they pop there's a game that just pops out out of nowhere and it was the case so yeah I had the right feeling there to actually get the rocks so that forces Genesis to spin again later with the drill so the drill has to like the drill we're gonna get whittled it's gonna get whittled more and more because like it's life up right so it cannot spin forever so maybe Atticus has a, ch has a shot to win this if he can keep rocks off like rocks on the other side he's just gonna U-turn here yeah if he had the Kelly, not the Kelly could come in, but he lost that, so he's kinda. I mean, he can go in a torn and knock off the leftovers, which is an option, or you can go to the Rotom, but the thing is, yeah, not having Kelly sucks. Like, Rotom has to take rocks and all the time, which is annoying. Like, rocks plus Sandstorm, so Sandstorm cancels the leftovers. And Rotom is important because it. 
basically beats Driller and Hippo and it, he makes that knockoff play that I was mentioning. It also Rotom also checks the Weaver, which like since he lost his Kalio, he lost one Weaver check. Weaver kinda destroys him now that he lost his Kalio, now that I look at his team. Like Rotom, that's why you need Rotom healthy, obviously. Yeah, just knock off into U2 and the Hippon's just gonna go for Whirlwind, something like that. Maybe Stone Edge if he has it. Yeah, he has Whirlwind. That makes a bit, that makes some sense to me because he has a Hazard stacking team. I think this is the team. Jambit or Blunder used before. So the turn just goes for Hurricane. He has to uh, slack off spam. Atticus is just gonna fish for like confusion or crit or just potentially um, start out some slack off PP. I mean, he can Hurricane again if, as long as he hits, he's in a good position, but he misses. And Hippo's just gonna go for a Whirlwind here, I feel. Torn might just go for like Hurricane again a U turn out. Nah, just Hurricane again, obviously, but with U turn. They actually did a lot. Maybe this hippo is a bit more fit staff, or Hurricane just does that much. So this hippo's super low, he cannot keep the sand for his Excadrill forever. Um, he makes the Torn play here, which is interesting, predicting Ladi. But if you predict Ladi, you can just Volt Switch, like I said earlier. So he's making... But it makes some sense in case he stayed in with Hippodon. So it's a mid-ground play, yeah, the play made sense. He hits the Hurricane, Hippodon is gone, which is nice for Atticus, because the, the sand will be gone in a few turns. He was leftovers too, so on the hippo, so there's only a few turns of sand. Predicts him to spin goes for heatwave question mark. Nice, nice, nice. Actually lives on 2%. Uh, he can just bring out his Jirachi if he predicts the Iron Head. So he actually makes that aggressive play. Wow. Rock Slide. Wow, this works out so well for Atticus. Um, Zadwa is gonna come in now and destroy something. But Atticus has a chat to win this. I like how he played this. So yeah, we were just gonna just click knock off here. I feel like going that would have been fine. But we were also fine because um, Rodon pretty much gets to it killed after rocks and everything. Rocks and sense them, yeah. So yeah, Atticus has to pick a Saki and then he can go and Rodon next turn. And then it's pretty much... Atticus is not in the best position because of the Hex earlier. Um, he's pretty much forced to Volt Switch later on when he brings in his Rotom because he cannot give this a free switch in. And I'm pretty sure that Atticus will just, uh, Genesis will just go into Ladi. Like, I'm just already talking a few turns ahead after Atticus picked his sack and goes into Rotom. I don't think Genesis will let this Weeble stay in versus Rotom because it's basically his win condition. Like, that just destroys everything. If it comes in versus this, this or this, it basically gets the kill. Like, this does to Ice Shot if it's Scarf. I think it's. Scarflander, yeah, Defense Charge is Scarflander. Kelly was probably Specs, AV, Mega Medi, and then just Voltage Momentum, the standard Rotom. It might be the fast Rotom, like some Rotoms run. A lot of speed and RS to outspeed stuff like Crawland. I don't know if they run enough for Bishop. I think you would have to run way too much speed for that. Oh, Blanda's playing tomorrow. Okay, his Raikou is busy. Blanda was Raikou the rematch. That's gonna be interesting. Um, they played last year for Oris in, in SPL. I think in finals, yeah. Yeah, so as you can what, what would you say here if you had you? Because let me just look at the team real quick. Scarf uh, Landorus is nice. I don't know if it lifts an ice shot. If Landorus lifts an ice shot after Intimidate. If it's live up, we will. If it might live an ice shirt after intimidate. Obviously, it doesn't live a bandit ice shirt. Um, but he's definitely not gonna go for ice shirt here. But I assume he's he's just gonna knock off, right? Yeah. He's just gonna knock off. Obviously, I don't know why I questioned it. But yeah, let's say he keeps the land with. And this is, if this is bandit into knock off, then this gets a kill after he he sacks the torn here or he sacks the jirachi. And then. You can go either to Rotom or the Landris, depending on if Landris lifts the Ice Shard or Life Up. But yeah, it probably goes into Rotom, like I said earlier. But yeah, uh, I'm just thinking if, he, if it's worth to keep Lando. Like, Landris outspeeds the Zard. So I think he has, yeah, he, land, he needs the Scarf Lander to beat the Zard. His other way of reading Zard is the Torn, which pretty much has to get Hurricane Confusion to beat Zard 1v1. So that's not the best answer. Um, Jirachi, all the Jirachi does is beat Latios. 
I think Wachi is the most expendable member. It loses to these two. Hmm. Like, I think you just checked the Jirachi. Because the Torn and the Lando both somewhat beat the Zard. Like, the Torn doesn't really beat the Zard, but it has a slight, chan slight chance to beat the Zard. Yeah, he's a sexy Jirachi. So now we will, yeah, his life will be well, so he can change up moves. So Lando's probably dies to Ice Shed after Rocks. And not sure, not 100% sure. But if Landris lives, Stone Edge would, if Landris lives in Ice Shed, Stone Edge would get a kill here. But that's not the way to go. That's not the way to go. You cannot go into Landris because if you go into Landris and you live, uh, you you live an Ice Belly. Even if you live an Ice Belly, is what I meant to say. I don't know if he actually lives one. I mean, he might actually die after rocks. But even if he lives an Ice Belly, he will be so low that he will die to rocks. And then Genesis just brings Laddie in, and he has to stay in with Landris. Stone doesn't kill the Laddie, and Landris dies. If he switches out, he dies to rocks. And that is his best way of killing the Zardwise, so he cannot go into Landris. He's forced into Rotom Wash, in my opinion. I forget that out now. And then it's kind of a 50 50, not really. I think he just has to Volt Switch. He just has to Volt Switch then. Go Rotom and Volt Switch, yeah. Figured, figured. Because. This Latias is so valuable for Genesis, there's no way he just stays in. Like he's going into Ladi here or into Zard, but I think he's gonna go Ladi. So he Volt Switch here probably into into Landris and then you can U-turn or Stone Edge. Like if you Volt Switch into Ladi, right? You then should kill the Ladi. But you can also make a risky play and then after the Sandstorm will end now, okay. I was thinking a Volt Switch plus Sense then would bring this the Ladi into Stone Edge range. Because if it would do, he would actually get a kill with Stone Edge from Scarfland the next turn. Like if you Volt into Land on Scarf Ladi, uh, on Ladi. I don't think it's in range for Edge. I think Edge is like 60 to Ladi, but I'm not sure. Maybe that's 55, 60, 70. I really don't know the card. This is just my head card. But this is interesting. Would have been better if he. We've seen the entire match obviously live. But yeah, I'm glad I was able to catch this at least. So yeah, like I said, Ladi is gonna come out, Volt Switch is gonna come out. That was the play Eticus had to make. And I think he goes into Laris and he either clicks U-turn or Stone Edge, like I said, if Stone Edge kills. But Stone Edge doesn't kill, so he's probably just gonna click U-turn. The, the only reason I mention Ed Edge is because in, in case Edic Genesis. Okay, he just makes a Torn play. I was just talking about the Landers play so much. That's obviously the other option to get torn. But in case this was enriched for Edge or Laddie, in case Genesis tried to go Zard Y on a U turn from the Lando, I thought going Lando and making an aggressive play might be an option. But yeah, this is obviously fine because he can just click. Actually, this is this is kind of bad for Atticus. Because the Zard Y can come out here if this is not. Okay, already see, we already know the entire set from Tornadus. When I was super weak to Zard Y, so he just forfeited. Why did he forfeit there? Like I know he lost, but he realized that he lost probably, but because Zabba just comes out and beats him. But yeah, I feel like we were we were just we were was just too much for him. Like even if he predicts the Zard here and like gets his Lando in with a U-turn, or if he Hurricane confuses the Zard, we will get a kill after. And Rotom, Rotom might die after 55 to knock off. Like, and even if Rotom doesn't die, even if Rotom doesn't die, like, I don't think he can win. That, 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 that was a bit weird. I think his play might have been to go Landris there. And he can go for s hmm. Stone Age crit on this. Uh, as in case if Genesis goes into Zard on the edge, he lo loses that then. But pretty sure we all would have won the game anyway. Yeah, we were probably would have won anyway, so it didn't really matter. I was talking way too much about the the scenarios there at the ending, but it didn't really make that much of a difference. I was just trying to see how Atticus could win. And I guess that wasn't the best analysis. I hope you guys still enjoyed. Um let me actually open the, the thread for the for week eight. Um 
pretty sure Atticus is playing for the... God, this is unprofessional. I should have this thread open before. Helix is playing for the Cryos. Genesis should be playing for the Bigs. Yeah, here we go. Um, so Oris, oh, you guys, Genesis seven was Atticus. So the score is uh, one on one now. Poet beat Finch earlier. I already uploaded that, and now Genesis won. With uh, a bit of hacks, uh, the focus blast missed earlier. Losing Kelly was huge. That was his rival check basically. Besides Verum and Verum, but Verum just got pressured by rocks. That's like I don't know. This team is cool, but not having Helen control is a bit annoying. But yeah, the hacks obviously mattered. Um, but that's the that's the that's the risk you take when you use focus blast. If you hit, you just get that huge kill potential. If you miss, you could just be in a bad position. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. I will have some more iceberg content coming, other lives coming. Stay tuned for that. Peace out, friends.